Hi, Scorpios. What's good, y'all? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Thank you guys so much for the subscribes. My new subscribers, hello. Welcome to Read Divine Tarot. This is your girl. This is your host, Read Divine, okay? Um, I am going to get you guys' love readings out for the month of March. I'm excited for you guys, okay? So let's see what's going on for the month of March in regards to love, okay? So what energy is coming towards Scorpio in regards to love? Okay. I sense that you could be feeling left out in the cold. You could be feeling a sense of rejection um, because I feel like you're not sure. You're caught in a rock and a hard place. You're not sure which direction to go. I feel like there could be a lot of weight that you're carrying, a lot of baggage that you're carrying in regards to the situation. I feel like you could possibly want a new beginning. Um, and I feel like there's going to be a sense of clarity coming in into the near future. Um, you could be lightening your load and the sun shines and, you know, you're in a better place, a better headspace. But I feel like you are going to be standing up for yourself. I feel like you could feel rejected right now, but I feel like you are going to be standing your ground. I feel like you could possibly be waiting for something to come in and waiting to make your move. But I feel like you're going to be kind of like taking your time where you could be dealing with the earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I also see fire energy here as well. So you could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius or um, Aries. I also see water energy here as well. So there could also be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces involved in the situation as well. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's this fresh new um, energy awakening or realization that you're going to come into into the near future, okay? Out of three ones. the three ones here? Okay, you could be waiting. It could be some conflict going on. You could be turning your back on some type of conflict. Clarify the five of ones. Or you could see some conflict coming in. Okay, we got the four of wands. It could be some conflict in regards to some of you guys could be married or it could be some conflict in regards to um, something that's in the home. Um, I feel like there could possibly be someone could have got put out. Someone could have got put out the home and um, instead of like making this thing into something more bigger i feel like you're just gonna be standing your ground you could be turning your back or you know what i'm saying you could be um waiting for some conflict to balance out because this situation could be a heavy load and you're waiting to make your next move but i feel like you're possibly you know taking your time Pray for the knight of pentacles okay so you're going to be definitely getting a sense of clarity. But I feel like it's going to come slowly. It's going to like slowly over time, things are just going to start becoming clearer and clearer on what move you want to make or what move is that you need to make. Okay. I feel like you guys are doing great. Just keep standing your ground. Okay. Now, since you, you know, you do want a new beginning. But let's see here. Five, five, seven, and one. Okay, yeah, you're going to be defending yourself. You are standing up for yourself, no doubt. Clarify the Empress. Okay, 
Okay. Yeah, it's like a new beginning. I definitely see you want a new start, a new fresh start. Clarity is going to come over time. Right now, your things may seem a little cloudy, but clarity is going to come over time, okay? A lot of you guys could be married or in a long-term commitment could be with this person for a while. This situation got you stressing. This is a heavy load. And I feel like there's a sense of wanting to do things the proper way or do things in a traditional way. But I feel like there could possibly be, you know, some third-party things going on or there's some type of, you know, um, there's some type of commitment. There's some type of long term. A lot of you guys could be married, um, but you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, someone that's very, you know, dominant, that's very, you know, aggressive, comes out in an aggressive way, has that fiery energy. But I feel like you're wanting to turn your back on the situation. I feel like you could be walking away from a situation because the situation has you stressing, has you, you know, staying up thinking about it. And I feel like there's a sense of wanting to move forward. There's a sense of wanting to move ahead. But I feel like there's just a lot on your plate, like a lot that you could possibly be, you know, you could be stressing a little bit about this situation. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this relationship has you, it is a burden. It's a lot that you're carrying on your back right now. For the Empress. Yeah, I just really feel like there's this situation is really having you feeling like really burdened. I feel like this situation here is a burden for you. I'm gonna get some advice from the romance angels. I'm gonna see how for Scorpio in regards to love. What's coming towards Scorpio in regards to love? I'm gonna see how for Scorpio in regards to love for the month of March. For the month of March, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Okay. Okay. So I feel like there was a sense of needing to keep an open mind because it's saying that your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. So you could have been dealing with someone that, you know, could have been, you know, their opinions and the way they look at things are just different from yours. Your You guys' viewpoints, you guys possibly don't see eye to eye because their viewpoints and the way that they were raised or the way that they were brought up or the way that they was taught to do things may differ from um how you're used to doing things. But I feel like spirit is saying express your love. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So maybe one of you guys could, you know, go ahead and, you know, make the phone call or make a little gesture, flirt to see kind of where it goes. And then we have very soon. So clearly decide what you want to do so that it comes to you now. So a decision is going to have to be made very soon. Do you express your love? Or do you walk away from this situation? Do you make the gesture or do you walk away or do you make the gesture and see where it goes? Um, I want to pull one more card. 
Yeah, please give me one more card for Scorpio in regards to love for the month of March. One more card for Scorpio. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So a lot of you guys are dealing with your soulmate right now. A lot of you guys are dealing with your soulmate right now, okay? So Spirit is saying, please keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. So there is going to be differences of opinions and, you know, in a relationship that's, you know, that's common. But someone needs to express how they feel. Someone needs to tell how they feel. And someone needs to do it very soon. Spirit is saying, don't let this situation linger on too long without either getting closure or without, you know, expressing how you really feel in the situation. Because this individual is your soulmate. So there's a soulmate connection here. Okay. All right. So that is going to be your reading that I have for you in, for, in regards to love for March. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will be back next in the next few days to get you guys this case of the X um, videos out. And thank you guys so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All right. Ciao for now.